Well, it's a lovely Sunday morning. I'm uh, down at Hayward Safe again because it's been not too bad, especially last week. I've got a couple of um, camera lenses for three quid, which were worth over 100 quid in total. So anyway, I've got the uh, I've got the bra on. Um, normally, I clip it on, but I'm, I'm going for the bra today and see how it goes. And hopefully, I'm going to get some bargains. Just finished up and um, it's a good boot fair actually, went round about three or four times, absolutely lovely morning, starting to heat up a little bit in the mornings and it's a bit lighter, which is lovely, very welcome indeed. So yeah, very pleased with what I got, I got a big haul of uh, something which you'll see in a minute and a few other quirky items which are quite interesting, which I've got no idea of the value on. So uh, after showing the walk around, I will show you what I got and uh, hopefully get some idea of the value. How much is your Lego? Lego, what the big one? Yeah. That's 20. And the Pos Harry Potter's? It's 20 as well, yeah? Yeah, and then the small ones are on 6. Okay, cool. They're used, yeah? No, they're brand new. Brand new. Brand new, mate. All the toys you see at the front, they're all brand new, never been done. Everything's new, never been opened. That's it. That one that you're holding is 44. Okay. You do 15 on it? No, no that's no, 20, mate. If, if I get both, can you do 15 on it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't make any money on it though, that's what I'm doing, so. Um, well, I, I was hoping to get 15 for both, no, but no, can no. I do 15 for one? And if I get 20 on the other one, I'll give you, because I, you know, the margin's too small otherwise for me, and I might not make any money on it at all, that's the thing. Um, so 35 for the both. Yeah, is that alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that then. Yeah. It's like a mix. Yeah. No, I'll leave that one, I think. Alright, thanks. How much is he? Quid? 50p. Oh, 50p. Oh, well, there we go. You've got to have it for that, haven't you? have got to have it for that. It's Mario, isn't it? <laughs> Good old Mario. Is it Mario? Something like that, isn't it? Yeah, Thank Mario. You, <laughs> How much are you for these shirts? Leg. Leg. They ain't doing too well at the moment, are they? God almighty. How much are they? All different ones? Yeah. yeah. That's the jacket. No, no there's, there's some more there. They're those, that's all the Liverpool stuff there. It's all, all other football. What football stuff you got then? Just, yeah, is this... Like is, yeah. What, what are you looking at? We do 40? Yeah, go on then. Is that alright? Yeah. Good, I know good condition? Yeah. Alright, cool. That's brand new. I yeah. Even it. All original, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You chuck those in as well. Is that alright? Yeah, cool. Let me give you your money and get that done. Thank you. 
bit of those rubbish people come in, don't they? How much is your Dyson? That's a fiver. It needs does a new battery. Oh, it needs a new battery? Well, it does work. You can yeah. Get it, no, no, that's all right. For about, about a minute and then dies, yeah? Well, yeah. it lasts about five minutes. So yeah. It should be about 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, I'll leave that. Thanks a lot. How much are they? You're on both. Yeah. Funnily enough, I've never bought one of these before. Hello. How much are they? Ten. Ten. I think that one's yeah. like the other one, in that one. You took 15? Put a bug. Oh. Is that right? How much is uh, your camera here? Um, how much do you want to give me for it? <laughs> a pound. <laughs> oh no, I'm just taking it. No, I know. Um, what, what are you thinking? I don't know. Tenor? Too much. It's digital, yeah? I'm thinking about a fiver. Six quid, yeah. I'll do six quid. Has it got the charger? What's the records, mate? Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Because I think some, most of them are cheap, but there were some jazz ones in there that I think, like that one. Yeah. They were a bit more, but it was only... Yeah, about the Beatles one, how much is that? I'm not sure. Sorry. That's all right. What's the Playboy thing there? Is that like a... It's a sweatshirt. Oh, it's a sweatshirt, yeah. okay. Yeah. Do you want to have a look? Uh, how much is it? Um, fiver. Fiver, okay, no, I'll leave that. Alright, thanks. Oh, is it headphones? Yeah, oh, okay. Oh. Right. Is this? Yeah, 12 pounds. 12 pounds, okay.
one pound over here. I am the storyteller. I have a story to be told. And it is what I got at the boot fair today. And it is random choice number one. A mandolin. I've had a mandarin, but never a mandolin. And not only that, not only did I just get the one, I've got this rather nice... What style is it? Is it Hofner? I'm not too sure. Can't find a maker's name on this one. But yeah, I've got eight strings. Um, I think it's mandolin. I don't think it's a banjo lady because that would have a banjo, um, what do they call it, body on it. Um, but very, very nice thing. Um, let me flip round and show you the rest of what I've got. So the two mandolins, or whatever they are, I just love them. They're just so great. I mean, they look fantastic. Um, I paid. Put in the comments how much you think I paid, because I only paid £15 for the two. I mean, the condition isn't brilliant by any means. It needs a clean-up. But £15 for two mandolins. And, the, you know, the craftsmanship... This one's missing top string. I don't know how they tune. I've got to research that, and I'll tune them up and uh, see how we go. That one had a case, soft case. I think it did have a little bit of wear, so I may sell it with it. I may not. But yeah, I was very pleased. Apart from them being rather large, I was very, very pleased. Um, so here's the rest of the stuff, all piled up as ever on the old uh, tap table. This is the first thing I bought. It's new in box. And I'm always a little bit wary of Lego because it can hang round for decades uh, or for a number of years. Um, and obviously I was chatting to the woman and obviously she's got this on discount in Tesco's or Sainsbury's or wherever, done a bit of RA and she had quite a bit of stuff. She wanted 20 pounds each for them. I was trying to get them for 15. In the end I did 15 on one, 20 on the other, 35 for the two. I've had a quick look up on Amazon and I don't think I could send it into Amazon. Shelfware, you know, it's sealed, but there's a shelfware on it. Um, so that was £40 on Amazon. This was £64 on Amazon, the buy box, but there were other new and new sellers at £45. So I think it take will take a little bit of research on eBay. I'm hoping to double my money. Um, if not, the boys will have a nice birthday present that they probably don't want. <laughs> but I think it's a good price, you know, for a box Lego that size. Um, now, his, this is a Lego, and I'm going to open this up, actually. Let me get a little knife. Okay, I have a bit of fear about this. I bought I bought it with this um, Fujifilm Fine Picks. I'm pretty sure I had a Fine Picks not too long ago, and I think it did very well. Uh, what is it? A digital Fine Picks S5000. Um, I got that for six quid. I don't know if there's a battery in it. I might have... Oh, oh, it looks like it takes double A's, which is a real bonus. Um, normally, if I do get a really good camera, you know, worth sort of 70 plus, I will send off for the battery to test it. Um, not necessarily send it with the battery, but just to sh show it's working. So I've got that for six with the case. Got no idea whether it's got any um, memory card. Oh, hello. It has. Now, some memory cards are worth quite a bit of money, so it might be worth checking that out. I don't know if it's for these. Um, I got that for a pound, but I picked it up, and it was very, very light. And I thought, oh, hello, has he done a, has he done a cheeky? So, live on YouTube, has he done a cheeky? It was all taped up. I couldn't untape it at the boot sale. He might have done. It's got no instructions anyway, but I do know I have a spare set of instructions for it. But, you know, I was fiddling about trying to undo the sellotape, and in the end I thought, well, for a quid, just forget it. Just put it in. Um, Mario almost offered a pound for this, got it for 50p. That'll be some seven or eight quid, I think. And again, a nice little cheapo one, you know, as I do, um, is a Sanyo camcorder um, charger. Um, and that was, I think it's Sam, 
Sanyo because, well, obviously this bit says Sanyo. This bit was loose in the box, and I was pretty sure it went with it. So I put it all together and paid a pound. That's off a, a local bloke to me, actually, who owns a shop. Um, this one I just picked up because, again, I thought the boys might want it, um, but they don't, apparently. Um, but just a nice bag. I might try and flip it, actually. You know, one of those household items. doesn't look used at all. It hasn't got tags on it, but, you know, very, very excellent condition. And that was £3. And the second kind of random purchase of the day, which has already been tested when I got back, uh, me and Liz stuck in four potato waffles, stuck in four poached eggs in here, put it in the microwave. I got out the brown sauce and um, we will probably keep it. But um, unfortunately, my... My poached eggs did were sort of hard in the middle, probably because I put it in for about five minutes because we weren't too sure how to use it. Uh, but, um, yeah, if we keep it and we get it working, that'll be fine. If not, it'll just sell on. It's only cost a pound, so, again, like next to nothing, really. I do love picking up Game of Thrones or any sought-after box set. I don't tend to... I'm, I may well sell them all together if, if it's worth it money-wise, but what I tend to do is do replacement discs. Um, so I will do replacement discs. I think I'm either £3 or £3.50 free post to do uh, replacement discs. I buy this this lot cost me £4.50. So it's less than a pound a box. Um, each one has five discs in, I think. Um, so I'm probably making it costs 60p to post. So if I sell it at £3.50, I might be making £2 on each disc. So it might be £10 on each box. So it might be overall £50 I'm making on it, £40 or £50. And the beauty is it's small and doesn't take up a lot of room and is easy to package, dead easy to package. Right, onto the jackpot. Couldn't believe this. Again, this was like one of the first things I got there. And um, I haven't seen, like, football gear at Boot Bear for ages, apart from traders selling it, um, or kids. I saw some Arsenal kids tops today. But this is all, you know, adult-sized stuff. It's all genuine. I've been through it. A couple have um, sort of conditioned things that I'll point out. So this first one, it's, it's a tracky training top. It needs a bit of a wash at the edges, but that's no problem at all. Um, they're all pretty much all Liverpool, 90% all Liverpool. Um, again, this is uh, it's probably about like five years old. There is some wear on the lettering. So again, a little bit of an issue there. I don't think there's any pulls. There's two of these tops that do have slight pulls on them. Sorry about the colour. It's gone a bit funny because there's loads of red. So that's the second one. So this lot costs 40 quid. I think there's 15 tops. We'll go through it. Um, again, another just football jersey. That looks in very good condition, actually. Can't complain with that one. Uh, this one has got a slight pull, and um, the lettering has come off, and it's actually left some white marking up here. My, my white balance is all over the place. Um, but again, I mean, I don't think it's a major issue. I will try and clean it up. Um, if I can't do it, it will just be stated in the listing. Uh, a very, very nice tracky top. Honestly, it's not like bright pink. And again, this is uh, just a polo top. It is all um, official LFC merchandise. Again, here's a bit of bit of an issue. Maybe been just washed at too high a temperature. Um, and I think there are a small few marks on it. Again, I will spot clean it. E each of these will be cleaned and um, ironed and pressed um, because it, I think it's worth taking the time of these. Another lovely tracky training top here. Absolutely gorgeous. This is an away top, I think. Um, it's actually got Ings on the back. So uh, I think he's now at... Where did he go? He went to Aston Villa. I, I think he may have been sold from Aston Villa, but I don't know quite know where he is. And this is a, another short sleeve... LFC top. Is it? I don't think it's an actual kit. Oh no, it is a kit one. It is an, an actual kit one. 
Well, away top. All new balance. Um, again, you can see some just a tiny little, you know, spot clean there and round the neck. There's obviously some sweat marks there, but we'll see if we can get that out. And that's all the Liverpool stuff. Um, so I've got all of that and, and I've got this one as well, which is an Ajax top. Very nice too. The labels have been cut out, but, you know, should still sell. Um, and then he had um, three band tees. And these are, I thought they might just be reproduction band tees, but they are actually from tours. So this is from a, a Ramones farewell tour from, um, was it 2005? It's on the back. I don't want to unfold it. But, yeah, nice condition T-shirt out. Very large size. We've got an Ed Sheeran T again from a um, a tour. We've got some tour details on the back, and um, a Kasabian T-shirt. So I don't really know the price of these. I, I, I'm I'm sort of band T-shirt for ages, but you know, fifteen footy tops. Sorry, fifteen fifteen tops altogether. So I think it's twelve footy tops and three band tees. Forty quid it cost me. I think that's under. Three pound each, under three pound each. Um, I was absolutely delighted with that. Um, as for resale value, oh, I mean, I think you've got to be ballpark. I'm, I'm thinking fifteen to twenty. Some of this stuff could be a lot more, but I really don't know. Um, fifteen to twenty each. Um, I imagine some of it might be, you know, thirty, forties. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to look it up now. Hope you enjoyed that. I don't often pick up clothes, but. God, I wasn't going to turn that away. That was absolutely fantastic. Do let me know what you picked up this weekend and whether you've sort of got any clothes bundles like that where you've got an absolutely blinding find. I know um, James Bold finds, he, he found, I think it was Iron Maiden tour T-shirts, which he sold for loads of money. And I had some Kanye West ones, uh, which I got. I, I got a T-shirt at a jumble sale for 50p. I think he sold it for 70 quid. It can be absolutely nutty, the prices you can get. Um, it's just got to keep your eye out. I wasn't expecting that to turn up. And, you know, it's just a lucky day for me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do click the thumbs up. I do appreciate all thumbs up. It helps the channel immensely. And if you're not subscribed, do consider a subscription because you'll get notified if you click the bell of all the uh, boot fair hauls I'll be doing in the future. For now, take care and I'll see you soon. Take it easy.